Next question is from Nikki Sherrill, Power of the Girl. What is the best squat to have in your routine? Front squat, back squat, sissy squat? Should you mix them up or do them on the same days, or is the back squat enough to build legs? Well, okay, so easy answer here. You should do all of them. Yeah. Um, and I think it's important to cycle through them, get good at one, then move to the next. I wouldn't put sissy squats there because sissy squats are more of an isolation movement. Mm -hmm. So you can't really compare that to a back squat or That's more like a squat. leg extension. Yeah, more like a leg extension. Now, if I had to pick, so let's make this interesting, right? Let's say you had to pick between a back squat or a front squat. Depends who I'm training. Yeah. If yeah. I'm training for like performance, muscle mass, back squat, probably going to be better. If I'm training a client and I'm looking for functional ability, mainly because it requires less mobility, it tends to work on posture a little bit. Believe it or not, the front squat, I think, might have a little bit more value for the average person. Um, but I would do them all. I mean, ultimately, that's that's what I tend to yeah, do. Yeah, I've, I've had uh, some strength coaches argue for the front squat for athletes, too, on, in terms of like certain sports where you're constantly on your forefoot and to be able to uh, strengthen that position uh, instead of having you in a flat position. But also you have to consider that, you know, the posterior chain is super important for deceleration and for keeping your body stabilized and supported. So, you know, I've always like advocated for, for both. And so I, I can't really like get pulled one to the other, but, uh, you know, people do make that argument a lot of times for the front squat for athletes. Well, the truth is it, you have to, uh, you know, we're having fun and playing with like, what if you can only have one, yeah. but the truth is you can't only have, four. You, you can have all of them if you like, and you should, I mean, they all carry their own value. You're right. Sissy doesn't even belong in that argument because it doesn't even come close to comparing to a back squat that is a high bar, low bar, or a front squat, right? So I'm assuming that's what the high and the yeah. low means, right? So, yeah. and and so I I love uh, going back and forth between uh, high bar and low bar. Uh, it's taking me now. What you have to understand too that the most important is kind of what Sal was saying. It's like it really depends on the client, right? If you if all things are equal and you have the ability to do all these, absolutely all of them belong in there. Mm -hmm. But I like for a long time I couldn't high bar squat. I had to I had to low bar squat because right. I'm so long. I already have kind of a, a forward lean as it is. If I wanted that good bar path to be over more of my quads than over my knees or beyond that, I couldn't do uh, uh, I couldn't do a high bar. I could didn't have the mobility to sit upright. I didn't have the thoracic and shoulder mobility. I didn't have the ankle mobility to be able to sit upright and tall and load the bar up high. I had to load it lower. Now I've worked on my mobility so I can actually go back and forth between high and low and I do I think it's important to do both and then the same thing goes for front squat if I have a client who can and has has the capability of loading the bar in their front like that then there is tons of value like we just talked about this on a, a recent podcast of why we like the front squat squat so much for working the butt because a lot of people stop at 90 degrees on a back squat and what the front squat does, it keeps them more upright. It typically allows them to get deeper in the squat. So if I'm training somebody who has a hard time getting really deep in their squats, absolutely, I want mm -hmm. front squat in there. So, But the truth is, they all belong in your routine. They're all extremely valuable exercises. Yeah, when I was doing a lot of squats, um, I would have a day with back squats, and I would have a day with front squats in the same week. And I trained like that for a long time, and I got great results from doing that.